for the first question, find the difference between 8 Celsius to negative 9 Celsius. So I simply take negative 8 minus negative 9, then you get negative 17. And the difference here is actually 17 Celsius. We'll go for number 2. So this one will actually be the parallelogram because it is the only one that has rotational symmetry order of 2 whereby for trapezium okay it only fulfill the requirement of no line of symmetry number 3 so change 950 USD into euro at the rate of 1 euro equals to 1.368 so simply take 950 divided by 1.368 then you get the results of 694.44 euro Whereby for number 4, this one is actually the Pythagoras theorem. To find AB's value, simply take square root bracket negative 3 square plus 5 square. So results will be 5.83. Whereby for number 5, okay, keyword here, hemisphere. So for the formula that we are using, which is 4 over 3 times pi times r cubed, you are required to multiply it by half. Okay, so after you run the calculation, you get the results as 261.80. Okay, question A for number 6, find A union with F intersect with S. So the entire A will be 2, 1, 3, 8 and then you are required to pass plus the 4. Okay, so the results will be 18. And shade the reason everything other than F intersect with S. So this one will be the 5 and 3 area. So it is shaded as above. Question 7. Okay, this one is actually the uh, matrices you can just refer to my working and get the answer But for question 8, Robert, Robert buys a car for 8,000 okay? and the car has a decreased value of 10% okay? and for 7 years. So this is actually compound. Okay? So the formula goes by 8,000 times bracket 100% minus 10% to the power of 7. So the results will actually be 3,826.38. Okay, for question 9, 1, 2, 50,000. So 50,000 is actually 0 0.5 kilometer.
So 1 cm square equals to 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, which is 0 0.25 kilometers square. Okay, so 1.2 times 0 0.25, then you get 0 0.3 kilometer square as the final answer. Wait, but for question 10, Jason received some money on his birthday, spent 11 over 5, 11 over 15 of the money and left with 14.4. So this 14.4 is actually 4 over 15 of the total. So for you to find the total, simply takes 14.4 divided by 4 over 15. So the results will actually be 54. Question 11, pretty straightforward. This one is Pythagoras theorem again. Okay, simply run the calculation and you get the value as 6.24. Question 12. Okay, key things here is to change the proper fraction into improper ones first, then convert their denominator into the same as 12. So after you run the calculation, you get 4 over 3, and 4 over 3 value is actually equivalent to 1, 1 over 3. Question 13, okay, this one simply use sine rule, then you should be able to find the answer. So sine 39 over y equals to sine 74 over 12.4. So the calculation, so y's results will actually be 8.12. But for question 14, just jit, okay, collect stamp. So give 1% of a stamp and she has 2,475 left. So this 2,475 is actually the 99%. So simply take 2,475 divided by 99%, then you get the results as 2,500 stamps. For question 15, Okay, this one is actually a square minus b square formula. So a in our case here will be 3w and for b it will be 10. So the formulas, the answer will go by 3w minus 10, 3w plus 10. As for part b, okay, extract p from the front, then you will left with m plus n and for the last two variables there i extracted 6q out then i get m plus n as well so rearrange them then you get the answer as p minus 6q m plus n question 16 okay key things here is that it is for a particular sector only. So the formula that we are using is 2 pi r, you are required to multiply 26 over 360. Okay. So another keyword here is the perimeter, hence you are required to add 2 r into it. So after the calculation, you will get 36.81 cm.
Right, but for question 17, okay, directly proportional. So y equals to k bracket x minus 1 squared. So substitute the value in to identify k's value. Okay, and after the calculation, you get k as 7. So y equals to 7 bracket x minus 1 square. Okay, substitute 6 into it. Then you get y's value as 175. Question 18. A rectangle has a length of 5.8 and a width of 2.4. Both corrected to one decimal place. So 0 0.1. Okay, divide by 2, then you get 0 0.05. Calculate the upper bound. So 5.8, you're required to plus 0 0.05, multiply it by 2, plus 2.4 plus 0 0.05, times by 2. So the upper bound parameter will actually be 16.6. Whereby for the lower bound, okay, do it the other way around, minus 0 0.05, then multiply by 2 for both 5.8 and 2.4. So the lower bound will actually be 162 Question 19, okay? For this one, I identify A as 5, B as negative 6, and C as negative 3. Then substitute all this information into the formula, which goes by negative B plus minus square root B square minus 4AC over 2A. And the results will be 1.58, negative 0.38. For question 20. Find the total distance. For this one, simply find the area of this particular shape. So I treat it as trapezium. So 10 plus 55 divided by 2, multiply by 8, then I will get the total distance as 260 meters. But for question 21, okay, this one keyword here, mathematically similar. So 15 over 7.2 equals to 25 over x, and x value will be 12 here. Whereby for part B, similar method that was being used earlier. However, for the area, you are required to cube root it. So cube root of 375 over 16 equals to cube root of 192 over y. And y's value will actually be 12.8 after the calculation. So for question 22, 
find the mean numbers of pets, okay, simply takes the frequency multiplied by the respective numbers of pets, okay, add them all up and divide by 24. So the mean numbers of pet will actually be 3.5 here. For part B, Jennifer joined. Okay, so the new mean is now 3.44, so 54 plus unknown over 25 and the total students increase into 25 so after you run the calculation you will get the unknown as 2 For the last question here, question 23a. So I fill up the tree diagram. For us to get blue pencil, it will be 8 over 14. And the second pencil part rate will be 5 over 13. For blue, the second times we get blue will be 7 over 13. And for us to get red, it will be 6 over 13 as well. So part B number one, calculate both pencils are red. So 6 over 14 times 5 over 13, then you get 15 over 91. Whereby for part two, pretty straightforward. Simply takes one, which is total probability minus blue pencil for twice of its occurrence so 1 minus 8 over 14 times 7 over 13 and the answer will be 9 over 13 so thank you for watching i hope you find this video helpful if you happen to have friends that struggle to solve all this past year feel free to share our channel to them. So I wish you all the best in your upcoming examination. Thank you.